everybody, welcome back. This is your host, Lord Gigabyte, with episode two of the Enderman server. Let's say hello. And boy, <laughs> we've got some stuff today. Oh, thanks. We got some good stuff coming this week, yes. This is actually what will be coming. Mm. So, welcome again to episode two of the Enderman server. And speaking of building some stuff, since we are going to build some massive glass things using coal hold on a minute I've got something at my front door let me look because I didn't finish my mission last night I made you a super awesome one from CMRT oh yeah CMRT was going on a mission on our server to meet and greet everybody and he was gonna leave everybody a boat so there's the boat it looks like he built me a giant boat well thank you CMRT I appreciate the boat and the sunflowers we'll take care of that later on So, speaking of redstone stuff, let's get into it because we are going to need a lot of glass and we can grow trees forever. And it's a lot easier to grow some trees, chop them down, and make charcoal. So, so what we're going to build today is a charcoal machine, an automated self-powered charcoal machine. So let me get some materials around for that, and we will be right back. Okay, I'm pretty certain we're back here. And is what we got here is everything in my inventory for the mumbo jumbo, super compact, automated charcoal maker. Uh, I'll put the link in, down in the description of the video to Mumbo Jumbo so you can see exactly how it works. I've built one of these before. Uh, let me get a pick real quick. Pick real quick, yeah. I'm pretty sure I tossed everything. Okay. Now you're going to need a, to clear a 2 by 3 space. And I'm going to put this down recessed in here just a little bit. And we're going to start. We want a dropper this way, and then this this way, and that way. So one facing out, two facing up. Since we're recessing this, we'll drop our redstone there. We'll put our comparator there, and the old block will do right there. Then we'll put one hopper facing into here. Okay. And then, oh, forgot the furnace. Let me two more cobble. How can you forget the furnace? Okay. Furnace goes there. This goes to the back of the furnace there. Two by two chest here. Hopper there. 
Now, is the way this will work is we can go ahead and toss our first piece of coal in there. No? Oh, 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 okay. On this server, there is a command we have to hit. So these chests, so hoppers can access them. What is that? Let me find out what that is here. Hold on just a moment. Okay. I got the commands all straightened out. So now our hoppers can access chests, furnaces, hoppers, droppers, dispensers, all that fun stuff. So the way this works now, let's go ahead and put um, a piece of cobble. Any, any solid block will go right there. That's fine. So the way this works is you put your one piece of coal in here. All you need is one. All right. And what happens then? It goes from the chest to the hopper, from the hopper to the furnace. You put all your planks in, or all your raw wood in here. So essentially, is what that does. Then it flows into the furnace. Makes charcoal. You hear the click. It goes in here. The uh, dropper shoots a bloop, bloop, bloop up into here. When the furnace needs another piece of charcoal, it pulls it from here, puts it right back in here. So, but here's the unfortunate thing. For this to work, it needs a ton of wood to get started. All right. In fact, if I remember right, I think it takes to get it self-sustaining completely, I believe it takes five stacks of wood. Five stacks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get those five stacks of wood so we can have this machine running. Because we are going to need so much charcoal, it's not even funny. So let me go get five stacks, and we'll be right back. Okay, so, <clears throat> oh boy, that was uh, pretty much fun. We have almost five stacks, I'd say three and a half, uh, just over three and a half. And I got a stack of saplings. Now, this is how I grow what I call my mega tree. Basically, it's a practically solid tree, very similar to these. You just climb up right inside and just chop them all down, and you get a ton of wood. I think my last one, I think I had 12 or so, well, 12 to 16 saplings in it, and it, oh, netted all that wood. Basically, you just let it go from here. Let's go dump all this wood in to the machine. I also had a visitor. Okay, hi, came and visited me. Just curious to see what we had going on and wanted to check out my place. All right, with that and with what we've already had, we should be making uh, we should be getting good here soon. So I think we'll just let it roll and see where we end up. So. I think with that, we'll go ahead and take a quick break, and I've got uh, got some other fun stuff that we can do as soon as we get right back, so hang with me, be right back. All right, so I gathered up some materials, and we are going to do a little bit of laying out of the, for the next, well, for the second half of the program, we'll go ahead and we'll let this run, and we'll check on it later on. It's got plenty of wood to chew through, and we will come back and check on that before we go today. But we're going to start laying out the Great Wall of Gigabyte, and that will be the wall that goes around my little piece of paradise. I've already started laying it out. Let's see here. Just head on over this way. Yeah, here we go. Here's part of it here. We'll start with this section out here in the desert. 
I'll just kind of lay it out. Uh, let's see. We're pretty much going to follow along here. I want it to be five wide, I believe. There's three, four, five. So, because yeah, another thing we're going to need all that charcoal for is if we want smooth stone. So let's just lay out a short section of it. I want to be able to walk inside this. Okay. All right, I'm going to do some quick laying out. We'll be straight back. Okay, so uh, I got the edges set. I'm just going to dig out the little canal here. And this sand is going to come in very handy when it comes time to make our glass for the citadel. This will be inside of our walls, of course. how this goes. Oops. What am I doing? Okay. Now, most of the time when I'm working here, if I even show you the extra work I'm doing, you'll probably notice I'm going to be using wooden tools. I'm sorry, stone tools. Because they're cheap. And they're pretty much infinitely usable. Um, I keep an iron pick for obviously for um, ores and such, but for the most part, you'll probably just see me use stone. So I'm going to fill this in a bit and we'll be right back. Okay, and there, the first step on the on the road to the wall. Um, let me see how high do I want to make it. I think it'll probably be pretty tall. Not sure if I'm gonna make it cross the go around here. I do know I want to put a a lighthouse or something out that way. But for the most part, right now, six. That's pretty big. Six is good size. Yeah, that's should be intimidating enough. Yeah, that's going to be massive. It's awesome. That's what I was hoping for. I was looking for something massive. Because the bigger it is, I mean, I want it to be seen from the Dynamap. I mean, I want to... And it won't all be cobble. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to just kind of do a cobble layout on it. We'll, we'll lay it out in cobble. Then we'll go through and we'll decorate it. That's what I think would be a good idea. Yeah, 
has to be nice. Alright, so basically, this is the start of the wall of Gigabyte. See, I've got tons left. This is going to be a long, ongoing project. Okay, this is going to be good. Let's come around this side here. That's approachable now. Oops. Ow, spider. I don't have my sword on me. Jeez, oh my. Do I have stakes? I do have my sword. Cool. Maybe I should uh, put it on my hard bar. Okay. So I think, I think we are basically going to build this, but of course the next few episodes is going to be a long project. That's a good way to build these. It'll be like the Great Wall of China, it's going to be huge. Let's quickly mount up and I'll show you. Oh, excuse me. I'll show you what we're looking at. Okay. Ow. Okay. So let's take a look. Let's ride the line of the of the of the wall. Alright, we're going to come around here. We're going to cut that water off. Now this, this desert temple is going to be fun. You can see it's in my way. I have some plans for this temple. If you if you like desert temples, you're going to want to miss that episode. We're probably going to, once we get the wall over to it is when we'll make our decision on uh, when we'll do something with that. I just laid this cobble down in the rough area of where I want my wall to go. Some marker, I was working at night. You see, we have a little bit of every biome in here too, so that'd be nice. Oops. And then down to the ocean. And I'm still, like I said before, I'm debating on whether I want to... Uh, ooh. Lots of stuff over there. Uh, I'm debating on whether I want the Great Wall to go around the water areas. So, that's pretty much going to be it for today. Let's take a look and see how we're doing with the charcoal. Let's put the horse away. He's not very fast. Check on our charcoal machine. So cooking away. That's full. Okay, so the hopper has to get all five full here. And once that's done, it'll start filling up in there. It's got two, almost three stacks. Okay, it'll need more wood before it's actually to the point where it fully creates its own charcoal. So I'll work on that, and we'll take a look at that next time. But, oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Okay, real quick before I go, let me tell you about this. And one other thing that we're going to have to redstone up. Okay, down here I installed this 
rail line. Okay, is what it does. Hold on just a minute. I should have done this when I was downstairs. This is fun. This is exciting. Okay, so that goes down there. So excited. Okay. Rail line goes here, goes down the mine. And then I hit a button and it goes back up. Okay, pretty simple. Easy. I hear skeleton. Hello? Skeleton? Oh, I know where the skeleton's coming from. There is a This was all lava. Up in here. Well, it's probably somewhere else. There's a cave system up here. There's lava too, you can hear it. There's a cave system up there. I highly doubt that's the skeleton we just heard coming down the stairs. So there might be another part of a cave in here somewhere. But anyway. We send this back up. This is what I want it to do. Is I want to be able to load it up, send it up, have it go and drop off, and then come back. And I know there's tutorials out there to do that, but if anybody has an idea, if anybody has a way of doing that that is survival practical, you can see what resources I have for the most part. Survival practical. Hey, send me a link to that video, and uh, of course I'll give you the mention. Uh, I'm so I think that's going to be about it for now. I will post the link to Mumbo Jumbo's video. He's the one that built this fantastic contraption. Six stacks, what it is. Sorry. Because you got five stacks there, one stack in there. Okay. So anyway, I will put the link for Mumbo Jumbo. Go check it out. Uh, if anyone has an idea of a way that we can build a cart drop off and return system, I'd really appreciate that. So this is Lord Gigabyte for you again. This was episode two on the Enderman server, and hope to see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye bye.